So today we are about to do, for the first time, four times 12K on a stabilized driving rig. On a factor of one to 10 in terms of cool things to do with cameras, this would be about a 12 because uh, it's 12K uh, times four, which has never been done before. When anybody says to me, why do we need 12K? I say, what's the resolution of reality? And we are trying to recreate reality here. And, you know, we have a lot of workarounds for that, but if you have, the higher the pixel count you have, the further you can go in. Because you're subsampling a 12K image, you're literally reshooting it and pushing into it. So. How far can you push in on a 4K image? Probably to 2K. How far can you push in on a 8K image? To 2K. How far can you push in on this image? Way in. You can push in to 2K. And still hold resolution and not start seeing a, a decay in the image. So we have actually put 4 times 12K, 48K, is what we're actually shooting in all the directions. We put it together, and then you can look any direction you want and push in and out, and you have total flexibility in terms of how you block your scene. We have side, side, front, back, both ends of the train covered in 12K with eight to 15 Canon lenses set at 12 millimeters. We're shooting at ISO 800, so we've got plenty of stop. And the, the noise is very low. And we've got full 180 on both sides, full 180 on the front, full 180 on the back. So we've got the entire train car, which is great. We will be playing this back on set in our TrueView system with, through a DaVinci Resolve on set so we can make final color correction coming off the, the raw files here. They go through the DaVinci Resolve for color timing on set, multiple DaVinci Resolves, four of them, and then we put it into the Unreal Engine from Epic, which is another key component to this. And with OptiTrack tracking, we can do off-axis projection. You know, it's a, it's a full approach from getting perfect footage, displaying it perfectly on set with high frequency, high resolution screens. Using the 12K on our ThruView rig, which is a integrated system for interactive lighting and LED work. So we're just testing it on uh, this uh, P1.2 screen. These are the plates that we just shot. So we bring the plates in, put them up on LED screens, look at them very quickly, and we can tell immediately uh, about Genlock, um, various things, color, uh, exposure, more. The 12K is holding up very nicely for all of our through view process, which is just great. 12K is irresistible if you can handle it. I mean, why wouldn't you do it? You know, I mean, we, everybody said, well, why should I shoot 4K? Now we look at 4K like, 
why would you want to shoot for it? So it's, I think it's inevitable that, that as data capture, we want to capture as much data as we possibly can because we do a lot of heavy post manipulation and there's nothing more frustrating than pushing in on that image or bending the color and hitting, hitting the ceiling. So having your highlights protected, your shadows protected, having the resolution to really go in and massage the image in post-production with all of the great Da Vinci tools like Resolve, uh, Fusion, you know, it's a, it's, it is an ecosystem that is brilliantly connected. And with what we're doing in what I would call high-tech cinematography, virtual production, it's essential to have extremely high-quality images coming in have the tools to manipulate them throughout the process without being destructive, and be able to come out on the finishing end with the exact artistic vision that you had in your mind going in. That is a great number. 12, 288 pixels by 64, 80. And what that means is that this right here is a 4K image, just about. 